Hey guys, welcome back to Freshman Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're here in Boston and today we're going to be exploring the New England Aquarium. It's gonna be so much fun, so make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. Let's go. Hi y'all, good morning. We are here in Boston, like Lewis said. Uh, super pumped to be here at the aquarium, as y'all know. I love an animal moment. We are big fans of animals on this channel, probably more so than me than Lewis. But yeah, that's a bright sign. So we are going to check out the aquarium. I think they have harbor seals here. They've got all kinds of fish and cool things. We're gonna go check that out. Ready? Let's go see what they got. Let's go see. Very excited to be here. So fun facts, they cannot bring anything inside the aquarium. So I'm gonna pound this real fast, but the cool can't part- Can't bring any drinks in the aquarium. Oh yeah, can't bring yeah, drinks into the aquarium. But fun fact, the harbor seals are actually outside of the aquarium. So we're gonna check out those guys. You don't have to go in and pay. You can just see them right here. Oh. I like to swim upside down. <laughs> Here's a map of the aquarium. So we've got four levels. All right guys, this is the busy one. So we're going to just see all that we can see. I think this is, these are the penguins, but I don't see any penguins out. So we're gonna just hang out. Let's go. We don't, we don't, we're new here, we don't know what we're doing. And it is feeding time for the penguins. They're all out in force. Right. I want that job. It smells like it's feeding time. Yeah. But what's smart is you got two people cleaning and one person feeding. <laughs> so they don't get attacked by the penguins. I think you have to work your way up to be the feeder. Yeah. You probably start as a cleaner. Look at him swimming. Oh, the penguin just sneezed. Yeah, we got a big whale bone carcass. A big whale skeleton. I don't know what kind of whale that is. It kind of looks like a spaceship. Up next, we're going to go see the fur seals. And make sure you're subscribed because in the next video, we'll be taking one of these Boston Harbor city cruises as far as pricing for the aquarium goes i think it's normally 35 dollars per person to get in here uh, again we bought our tickets with city pass and it was included as one of the must-see attractions so uh, the city pass is 79 dollars per person and it gets you access to four attractions around the boston area and now we have what, a fur seal yeah those are fur seals there's three of them in there it's, it's just like a giant swimming pool honestly <laughs> this is the kind of swimming pool that i want to have <laughs> with seals in it yes and rocks and seals and penguins, please. I'll, t I'll take two of them. And it's the cute thing you have like the lion seal in Seattle, the one that yelled at you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Come, on, come over here. Come see it. Oh, okay. We got one come up out of the water now. Oh, I missed it. I had a glare. Oh. We're getting spicy. We're getting spicy. Oh. They know. They know lunch at breakfast is coming. The guy is sitting like how Liberty sits when Lewis tries to give her a cookie. Very still, not moving a muscle, waiting for the snacks. This is the California sea lions, and there's three of them here. Their names are Tipper, Sierra, and Zoe. How do you feel about these? Uh, they're seals. Yeah, so they were born in 2010 through 2012, I believe. Mm -hmm. Rescues, mostly. So, there you go. Yeah. All right, y'all, so we're pulling ourselves away from the Sea lions, super cute, but there's more aquarium to explore. So we're gonna head inside and see what we can see. And just inside, we come to the Southern Rock Hopper penguins. So they have two different types of penguins here at the New England Aquarium. These guys are also, ooh, this is loud. These guys are also getting their uh, morning cleanings, probably fed. I always thought the rock hopper penguins were like super cool because they have the little feathers that stick out. Kind of how I feel like when I wake up in the morning and my hair is still in place. Yeah. This guy's having a meltdown. <laughs> Lots of like me in the mornings. <laughs> so I am quite impressed with how clear this glass is and how many fish are in there. It just reminds me of one of those Windows screensavers. <laughs> There's some big fish in this aquarium. It's not it's not a grouper, I don't think. I don't know what kind of fish that is. You love yourself a grouper fish, don't you, babe? Yeah. <laughs> sea turtle came to say hello. Oh my god. He just popped over to see how it was. He was like right there. Surprise. And more cleaning going on over here. There's that bloody. Yeah, look at him. And there goes a hogfish. That's one of the fishes I know. 
Well, in fairness, the reason I like the grouper so much is because I only know like five types of fish. So we're learning. And groupers are tasty. <laughs> That's why you know what they are. So we kind of can see the guy uh -oh. was feeding the stingers right there. That was cool. Yeah. You know the fish, I guess. Oh, hey, there's a birdfish. Look at that. You see the puffer fish, like. Yeah. Uh -huh. He keeps spitting it out and eating it. Yeah. Whatever he's got there. Oh, come on, hot. This is really cool. This is what they call a feeding frenzy. <laughs> Stingray! It's definitely feeding time here in the mornings. Is there a shark down there? Oh, there's a shark, huh? Yeah, nurse shark. The little shrimp here, the little ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here come all the little fish now. The shrimp came out, so it's like, oh, it's time to feed. <laughs> all right, you thought your morning rush hour commute was hectic. <laughs> Whoa. Barracuda. Something I like about this aquarium is because there's like this center, like this cylindrical aquarium right here. And there's kind of like these like little alcove pieces where you can kind of hop in and kind of feel like you're just in here by yourself. But the turtle causes a traffic jam. So if the turtle is swimming by, be careful because there's going to be a lot of people right there. But he's pretty cool. And at least he really goes to the glass. Yeah, I see him over there. Is he going this way? No, he's swimming back the other way now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a center mounted, it's like, or it's like a center focused aquarium. The the tank here is like right up the middle and the ramp kind of wraps around it. So as you ascend up this up to the upper levels, you kind of follow around the aquarium and loop around with it. That's a long boy eel. This guy with the yeah. nose. What is that? Oh, yeah, that one. And those are called long nose elven fish, which seems to be pretty appropriate. <laughs> and Lewis says that's a rope fish, aka a nope rope. I don't know if there's spicy or not, but I'm not gonna find out. And we did find a Goliath grouper. This thing is massive. I'd like to go maybe do some fish charter someday and try to catch one of these. It's a fish tornado. And of course, we got some jellyfish. These are Pacific Sea Nettles, they said. Oh. And those are Lion's Mane Jellies. Yeah, look at that. They just look like, I don't know, blobs of snot. Like, I'm pretty sure when I was sick one time, I hacked something up looked like that. Know, you know, be nice to the buddies. So these are Pacific sea nettles? Yes. So this is a specific Pacific sea nettle. Mm -hmm. There's another Pacific specific sea nettle. There's a specific Pacific sea nettle. There is a specific Pacific sea nettle. Okay. Alright, so we're currently on level two. We're gonna go see the shark exhibit, but I think it's still on level two, but we're gonna find out. So I guess this is the shark exhibit. I guess I never realized how big basking sharks are. They're not, they're harmless to humans apparently, but they still look huge. I would probably would lose my you-know-what if I saw that in the ocean. So we've entered the Amazon part of the aquarium. Let's check out what we got here. We have piranhas. We all know that they live in the Amazon. We have a big old catfish that we just wanted me to point out. You see a turtle too? Oh yeah, and a uh, soft-shelled turtle, I think. Oh sorry, that is a yellow-spotted turtle. And there we have our first seahorse. These guys are total buddies. And we have an electric eel. Here's the electric eel. Pretty long. I wonder how bad that would hurt to get shocked by one of these. So apparently the electric eels can produce 600 volts of electricity uh, and it's enough to knock a person unconscious or even kill after multiple multiple shocks. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, so I didn't know this, but apparently an Italian guy named Alex Al Alessandro Volta invented the battery and he actually studied electric eels and eel and this eel like is like the inspiration for the battery. Yeah. And they also said the electric eels are blind and that they use an electric field to navigate in dark murky surroundings. So where are they so I don't go there? Amazon, I think. Okay, good. Um, we're safe. So we have left the rainforest and are heading up to the Atlantic to go see some salmon. And there's some salmon. So we can confirm this skeleton that we see here is in the North Atlantic right whale. Pretty big. 
this is some interesting evidence of evolution here where you can see you know, obviously whales are mammals and they return to the sea and so they have like the front flippers but they also had a little bit of a remnant of a hind leg here too but it looks like for whatever reason a lot of people come by and scratch that piece off i don't know if i see one that's okay. yeah it's not on the it's not on the skeleton it would be like dangling because it's not really attached to anything yeah. Yeah, so you definitely can, there's really no bad shot when it comes to uh, looking at the uh, center aquarium here. There's another one right here. The turtle is out here causing a traffic jam, and then this guy is swimming by like he owns the place. So we got one sneaky turtle and one runaway turtle. Whoa! Wow. You know it's been a hard day when you just lay on the coral and take a nap. <laughs> He's cute though. He's a huge. I don't know if that's like a loggerhead turtle, but he's a big guy. And then you got this guy over here. He's living his best life. So one wakey boy, one sleepy boy. And the octopus is out today. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. that octopus is huge. Apparently they're very intelligent. I, I also heard that they don't usually keep them for more than about two years in the aquarium. He's changing colors, he's turning white, because now he's touching the white sand. Oh uh, yeah, look at that color change. And now we have made it to the top of the aquarium. We can look straight down and see the, tur the turtle. I almost said tortoise, but it's a turtle. Oh, here's the stingray. Mm -hmm. Sleeping turtle is tired, <laughs> but there is still a whole part of the uh, aquarium that we haven't uh, checked out yet, so we're going to check out that now. We'll you guys down there. So this is pretty cool. You can press these buttons and then things light up. It's a secretary blenny. Oh, okay. It's a tiny fish that emerges from their holes to capture prey and sometimes fight over mates. That's kind of cool. All right, y'all, so we're heading into the shark and touch tank area. Um, y'all know how I feel about this. so. I'm excited to touch them, just want to make sure it's consensual. How do you feel about that? Are you going to touch any of the buddies today? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Why don't Back. you touch them? Okay. So the good thing about this tank is it looks like you can actually reach them. We've been to so many of these touch tanks where, like, if you don't have six-foot grill arms, you're not touching them. If you're not Lewis. <laughs> yeah, when we took our niece to, I think it was the Florida Aquarium. Mm -hmm. they, no, it was Zootampa. Zoot, was it Zootampa? Oh, no, it was, it was Flo at, right. Yeah, the Florida Aquarium, like, she, you know, she's got these tiny little arms. She barely touched Poor, the water. She was so mad. She wanted it so badly to touch <laughs> those. Sophie, we love you. We'll bring you here. You can touch them here. There you go. No. 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 Did you touch them? No. It's like they know. They know. This is some close stuff. It's like they tease you. Don't yeah. touch the middle. Oh, I got them. <laughs> no, that's where you're supposed to touch. That's where you're supposed to touch. The green spot. Great job, my friends. I touched two of them. At the Florida Aquarium, they say two fingers. And you're not supposed to touch them on the center. Here, they want you to touch them on the center. Yeah, I thought that was strange too. That's why yeah. I said, like, don't touch them in the center. Well, no, and that, that, that's, and that's different. So, yeah, interesting. All right, so next we're going to head downstairs to check out the science of sharks. That guy looks a little scary. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I would still want to be his friend. I'm almost as tall as a black tip shark, right? You are taller than an Atlantic angle shark. Oh, okay. That was the one that we saw at oh, the yeah, aquarium the, the other day. Shark. Yeah. yeah, so link down below where we, where we went to the Sea Life Aquarium in Orlando, and yeah. we saw that baby shark. Oh this is the pups. Here, here. All right, don't sing this song. Oh, fine, I won't sing this song. This but there's a baby shark right there, and I'm not allowed to sing it, apparently. We'll get demonetized. There's a guy. Yeah. That looks like a marbled coral cat shark. Okay. Get a spot. Yeah. Make him look bigger than he is. Mm -hmm. Look at those big oh, and then eyes. so do you do you see the ones back in there too? No. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a cat shark. Look at oh, those okay. cat yeah, eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a cat shark. So this is the e pullet shark then, because it got the big circle on him. Let me see if I can focus on his eyes here. It's about as good as it gets. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it definitely looks like a cat. All right, guys. Up next, my favorite part: the gift shop, and I'm buying all the things. Pay yourselves. Let's go. So they have some small plushies that are only 16 bucks. The bigger plushies are like 40. Overall, not too. Yeah, so what'd you get? For 51 dollars, I got a bag. I got a shirt. That was cute with a little sea line on it. And then I got a sticker. Okay. And I got a magnet. It is. It was. Clearly the seals were my favorite. I almost got the penguin magnet, but I got the, the seal magnet instead. All right, sounds good. Yep. Let's go. All right, y'all, that's to wrap up our time here at the New England Aquarium. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. 
I definitely love coming to the aquarium, and I know this guy just tolerates it because he loves me. So here we go. Uh, and yeah, here is Lewis with the pro tips. All right, guys. So here are your pro tips for visiting the New England Aquarium. I would say number one is definitely come as early as possible because they feed all the animals in the morning. The animals are super active in the morning, and you're going to have less crowds. As the day goes on, this place gets super crowded. It's not a very big aquarium, so definitely want to come as early as possible to try to avoid those crowds. Pro tip number two is we recommend buying your tickets through City Pass if you're going to visit other attractions within Boston because uh, for $79, it's a pretty good deal that you get four attractions across Boston, and this is one of the ones that's included. And we're not sponsored by City Pass, just always like to give you a good deal. Pro tip number three is as you make your way across the levels in the aquarium, make sure that you hold on to your belongings because everything is open to the penguin pit below, and you definitely don't want to drop anything in there, your AirPods or anything like that, because they're never going to get them back. They're going to be ruined, your cell phone. And your the kids. penguins don't need additional toys. They got enough toys. <laughs> so that's going to do it for today, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Really help us out. With that being said, we're out of here. And we'll see you next weekend. Film them, you touch them. Um, I'm pushing that oh. one. This guy knows like three notes. Scoot that way a little bit. Okay. Ready? Uh, maybe that way half step perfect. Okay, it's, right. okay. go ahead.